Venice, Queen of the Seas, city of romance and mystery, where the great Casanova spent most of his time either in jail or the arms of another man's wife. And where one can breakfast with something like that. Now, don't get any wrong ideas. I'm practically her uncle. Her father's my closest friend. Good morning. You're an early bird. Oh, Simon, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to get started. I want to see everything. And so you shall, but not before I've fortified the inner man. Oh, you're not going to have a huge breakfast, are you? I certainly am. I need all the energy I can get just to keep up with you. Uh, the special, please. So be the senora. I'm so glad you had business here. Daddy would never have let me come ahead of him on my own. I should think so, too. Young thing like you, straight out of school. You get more than your bottom pinched here, I can tell you. Prude. Of course I am. Didn't he tell you that? Listen, I shall be extremely glad when he takes you off my hands tomorrow. I can distinctly hear the sound of Latin blood bubbling. Idiot. Telephone for you, Mr. Templar. You can take it in the bar. Right, thank you. Excuse me. Please, don't be long. Hello? Hello? They said there was a call for me. There was for Signor Templar, a man. Well, whoever it was, he's not there now. Santa. The lady who was sitting here, where did she go? She left, sir, with a man. A man? What kind of man? Where did they go? They went by launch, Mr. Templar. Very fast. This is a dead man speaking. Correction, a man you left for dead, Mozambique, five years ago. You should have made sure, Templar. Jed Blackett. I've got the girl. She's gonna die in six hours unless you find us. Got that? If anything happens to Lindy, you know I'm gonna have to kill you, Jed. Now you've got the idea. So come and get me. Well, I have to know she's not already dead. Let me speak to her. Simon, it's me. I don't understand. This man... Go to the police and she's dead yesterday. You've got five hours and fifty minutes. That should be enough for the great Simon Templar. to some marks, fast! When we get there, I want the best guide in Venice. Me, Claudia Galianto. I'm the best guide in Venice. I was born under the Rialto Bridge. I drank the Grand Canal instead of my mother's milk. 
And there isn't a water rat I don't know by name. How about Guido Mantagna? It will cost more than a fare to the city. Well, I would expect it to cost. Dio mio, a realist. No, perché uno sale su questa barca. Would you just hurry? Yes, mister. Why do you want to see the man of respect? Said out. <laughs> I want to show you something. You ever hear of an electronic spring with an acoustic trigger? <laughs> See that? Oh no. Oh please. Now you shout too loud or even move too sudden and that's what's going to happen to that soft little neck of yours. Break your spine. Dead in ten seconds, you got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. In the gondola. <laughs> Inside. What do you want? I want to see Guido. Nobody sees Guido. Uh, he knows me. I said nobody sees Guido. <laughs> hey. Oh, no, that's really not very nice. <coughs> Hold it. There. Now take the guns out very carefully and throw them in the water. Last one in the sissy. That's terrific. Ah, here comes our wet friend. All right, now take me to your leader. Ha ha. So, he's the same. What shall I do? Follow my niece and pray to him? Why should I help him? It's an ignorant pig who breaks into my house and beats up my servants. Servants? Now listen, are you sure you got a license for these things? You may be the saint, but in this city, I'm God. God, you understand? I could have you crushed like a fly. Yes, well, not just now, you couldn't. I have an arm in this island. All I have to do is... Uh... And then I'd have to put a little hole in your head. This lunatic who's tired of life, what does he want? He's looking for a man. Insomma, sta cercando un uomo che ha rapito una bambina appena uscita di scuola. E se non la trova in tempo, la ucciderà. Ah. This man you're looking for, what is his name? Jed Blackett. That is not what he calls himself in Venice. Oh, then you do know him. Why does this man want to kill you? Eh, per vendetta. Ah. He's a vicious mercenary. He's also a sadist. He's wanted by half the police forces in the world. He's fought in every dirty war you can think of. He started by changing sides in Vietnam, and then he went on from there. He would cut down your grandchild as soon as asked for a cup of coffee. And he strikes at you? 
to a young girl just out of school. Yes, that's right. And I only have until five o'clock. Luigi Pascale can tell you where to find this vigliacco, Jack Blackett. This is the address. It is not easy to find. Do you know it? Do. It is well for both of you that I knew your uncle. If you ever come back here, I shall kill you. The fare is getting more expensive all the time. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. You should be. I don't come cheap. Cheap never won a war. What happens when you meet this man, Blackett? Well, you jump down the nearest hole and pull the sidewalk over your head. This little girl, she really is little, huh? She's only 18. 18? Is pretty big little. Can't you go any faster? If you don't like my driving, you can get out and walk. I'm sorry. I know how you must feel. It's just that there's a speed limit here. I don't want to lose my license. Yes, I know, I know. Pay no attention. Luigi Pascale, the best pickpocket in Venice. I'm very sorry, I don't know this man. Jet Black. We hear differently. I can't help you. Guido says you can. Guido. Mm. That's his writing, no? Mm-hmm. Canal Perugino, the old Palazzo Mazzini, apartment four. If Black had ever finds out, I told you. Oh, don't worry, he won't. Come on. Luigi, you're a man. Mama, how is she? Oh, she's fine. Bambini, the little ones? Tonya's going to be a tenor. You'll see. We must eat together sometime. Uh-huh. There's no need for you to come in, you know. Ah, but if you get killed, who's going to pay my taxi? Here, hold that. Really, that was too easy. That's not the kind of lock that Blackett would have on his door. <laughs> now then. Templar? You there, Templar? I'm here. 
I'm sorry to hear that. I know. You were hoping I was only half the man I used to be. Dry. You always were dry. And you're still pretty handy with electronics. That's why you're good in cities. Out in the open, you stink. Listen, Templar, I can take you anywhere, anytime. Now you listen to me. I want to talk to Linda. It's been a long time. I'm going to ask her a question, and I want to hear her answer. And we're going to do that every hour on the hour. That way I know you're not using a tape. I'm trying to con me into believing she's still alive. Now put her on. Hello? Simon. He told me what he'd planned for you with the guillotine. I thought... I thought... Now come on, Linda, you should know better than that. You know what a sneaky chess player I am. Are you all right? Yes. What's your birth sign? Capricorn. And Simon. Oh, Templar. I'm sorry I wasn't at home. Why were you so sure I'd find your address? You fight a man once and you learn his style. Not all of it, Jed. Not all of it. Pigeons. Eh? Huh? The sound of pigeons. I could hear it all the time while he was talking in the background. He's in St. Mark's Square. Yeah. <laughs> Inside. one thing. Why do you want to kill him? Killing people's my profession. Only this one I'm doing for myself, for free. <laughs> because he left you for dead in Mozambique? He got lucky. This time he's not going to be so lucky. From what my father tells me about him, he won't need luck to beat you. I'd as soon tear you apart as pass the time of day with you, so maybe you'd better just shut your mouth. <laughs> Claudia, we don't have to go this fast. You can slow down. I can't. I can't. Look. Somebody's jammed the throttle. What are you calling? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! It's Blackett. He's bypassed the ignition. Oh, terrific! 
finito di pagarla. Come faccio adesso ai miei bambini, le mie creature? Cosa you faccio? don't have any children. Jed, oh. you're beginning to repeat yourself. You pulled the same stunt on me in Africa with my Jeep, remember? Linda, are you there? Yes, Simon. What is the name of your dog? Hercules. What am I going to do, Hercules? You see? I told you he was cleverer than you. Remember, that little gadget works if I shout too loud, too. And you've got just three hours left. He went out, that's all I know. And you know nothing about this man Blackett, where he goes, things like that. Luigi tells me nothing. <sighs> Come on. What's more, you owe me a new boat. Ah, I'll buy you a new boat. Not having seen Luigi. Come. You also owe me five years of my life. I'll think of something. Well, if you see him, you tell him to call me, all right? I'm cold. Do you think you're the only one? I like your underpants. Good. Consider them yours. Yes, definitely. Yes. Luigi. Blackett, he wasn't home. Come to the church of Santa Maria della Spina. Claudio knows where it is. Bring money. A lot of money. For Santa Maria della Spina, we need a boat. I haven't got one anymore, remember? Signor Templar? That's right. Sign here, please. Thank you. But what? You've got a boat now. You mean that? Mm -hmm. You mean, you mean me? Yes. Claudia, we have only got two and a half hours left. Yeah. body. It's an old gorilla trick. That's another thing he's good at. Explosives. What sort of man in a church? Dio mio, Luigi. I got him into it. I'm sorry, I'm finished. We go now to the police. We do not go to the police. Then I'm out. This man is a madman and you're a fool. He's always ahead of us and we also are going to get killed. Here. The keys to your boat. Claudio. It's your boat.
I am a Venetian. It is now my vendetta also. Also, I think of your girl. Also, I think of you. We have just two hours left. I know. If you were in Linda's place now, what would you be doing? I think I would. I would be trying to give you some, like, clue. <laughs> just blew another hour, Templar. Put Linda on. Make the most of it. You're a long time dead. Linda! Where in the world would you most like to be? I'd like to be in a... You shouldn't have tried that. Remember, all I've got to do is... Shout. Hey! You see that? You see the dog? about that. Where the hell are they? That sound. That sound, yes. What sound? Puppy, ah, that sound. Oh, eh, uh, Pope. I thought I heard it before through walkie-talkie, but I wasn't sure. Now I am sure. I've heard it every time. They're on the canals. What did Linda say in her clue? I would like to be in a... She was going to say... I would like to be in a gondola. I'm sure of it. No, not necessarily. I mean, they could be in an apartment overlooking the canals. No, they couldn't. We know they're moving around. You're right, they're on the canals. You can't have always been like this. Why? My father was a drunk, my mother was a tramp. Besides, I like it. <laughs> my father's very rich. He'd pay you a lot of money if you let me go. There's not enough money in the world to buy Templar's life back, and I need you, baby, to get him. These hoods and curtains, they're called fells, eh? Well, now, you don't say. In the old days, the aristocrats used to have affairs behind them. You know, make love. Nobody could see them. Later, maybe, before I kill you. <laughs> be able to overcharge me for this. It isn't yours. It's my cousin's. Yes. Just the canals. the side canals.
would a gondola have its hood up? On a day like this, it's unusual. Yeah. Down as low as you dare. Sulla gondola, col felce. Out of here, or your girlfriend gets it now. You never could play it straight, could you, Jed? You said I had six hours to find you. You never said anything about how. Now, the minute I come anywhere near you, you want to change the rules. The only rules I ever play by are mine, and you've got about 90 minutes left. Let me talk to Linda. Linda, can you hear me? There's something wrong. I can't hear you. My transceiver. Say again. There's a public telephone by the Babylon Tower. Go to it, I'll call you there. Then you can talk to your girl. Power it out. He'll never fall for that. I know that. Now, this Bovolo Tower, where the phone booth is, is there any cover near there where a man could shoot from? Ah, of course. The Babalo staircase. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The famous staircase. Yes. And the famous phone box. How's the kneecaps, buddy boy? <laughs> ah! If you were really hurt, Templar, the last thing you do is let me know. You know, I underestimated you, Jed. I always thought you were a moron. You're smarter than that. You're just a cretin. Listen, Templar. It wouldn't take much for me to kill the girl now. Now, you wouldn't do that. It's me that you want. And put Linda on. I want to hear from her. Are you all right, Linda? Yes, but I think he's back. I warned you. Oh, please. That's right, Blackett. You always were a girl fighter, weren't you? You're running out of time, Templar. 
You got an hour left. Why do you keep pushing the man? He's an animal. It could be dangerous for the girl. Blackett never could stand being pushed. I want him in such a frenzy. It won't be enough just to kill a girl. He's going to have to kill me as well. That means he's got to keep her alive as fate. It also means that in the end, he's got to help me get a lot closer to him. Mm, what means, Bats? When she said he was Bats, it was a clue. She meant he was mad. Huh? Oh. Bats in the Belfry. What? I don't. Belfry, it's a bell tower. Bell tower. Clock tower. Clock tower, the famous one in St. Mark's Square. The one on top of the Mercerie with the two moors striking the bell. It was a clue. Come on. It's the name of a deserted island. That's where I'm going to kill your girl. I mean that. Literally. There's an old crematorium on the island. That's what gave me the idea. This will be the first burn-up they've seen in centuries. Oh, by the way, the island's hell hard to find. And you've got just 40 minutes left. Do you know this island? I know it. Come on. We'll take this one, it's faster. Out. If you are going to kill me, do it now, please. Do it now. Well, I'm good and ready. Now I said. You won't need this little gadget anymore, honey. But they don't. People don't just destroy each other. People they don't even know. Where have you been this century, sweetheart? like they burn them in India. Except in India they're dead. And you're going to be alive. I'm going to keep the saint a little bit alive too. So as he can hear you. <laughs> that must be his boat. Flat! 
Ten minutes left now, buddy boy. Can't stay in there forever. I want to talk to Linda. Simon, please. He's got this fire thing and he's got... And she's going to be on it, roasting. Just nine minutes from now. Having a hot time down there, buddy boy. I've been doing a little bit of spring planting. You got eight minutes left, Templar. He's had some time to think this over. The whole island's sewn up. Still, there might just be one chance we can take him. You give me five seconds, and you get that thing going. Si, si. I understand. Ah. Que Dio te ayude. Thank you, ma'am. She was only the bait, she served her purpose. Now let's meet on equal terms. You'll never know who the best man is this way. scared to meet me after all, man to man, without guns. That's the only way you'll ever get an answer to the question you've been asking yourself for five years. Scared of you? I was taking punks like you when I was 12 years old! You are scared. I'm betting your hands are shaking so hard you couldn't even hit a truck sideways on. I won't be coming straight. I'll be coming slow and low and careful. And I know all your tricks. It's going to be just like five years ago, only this time I'm going to finish you. Like now! Shed, we'd all be shredded. Wrong, Templar. I'm gonna fix it so that only you get to turn into pumpkin pie.
cocktail. No, you may not. You should be in bed under heavy sedation, not sitting around here demanding strong liquor. After what you've been through? Yes. Oh, hell. An English girl's boarding school is great preparation for that kind of experience. Ah. All the same, I don't suppose I'll ever be the kind of woman who wears necklaces much. <laughs> and I'll never be able to fit it all on my postcards home to my friends. Well, why don't you start writing them now? Back in your hotel room. If it hadn't been... What? Well, I don't know how to thank you both. Well, you can thank us both by having a nice early night. That way you'll look pretty for when your father comes and gets you in the morning. Oh, no, I want to go out on the town with you. The resilience of the very young. <laughs> Please, Simon. Never mind. I'll see you when you come to pick up your underpants. <laughs>